my name is Lindsay Kelling and I'm the Healthy Teaching Kitchen Dietitian at Truman VA Hospital in Columbia, Missouri. And today we're going to be making a chocolate chip cheesecake bar. So this is a little bit healthier version of a cheesecake. So we're gonna start with three graham crackers that I've went ahead and blended up so they're nice and fine. And then I wanna to add to it one tablespoon of an unsalted butter. You can use margarine. Um, you can use any butter you have on hand. I would just encourage it to be unsalted just so you get a little less salt in your diet um, and because it really doesn't need any extra salt in this part. So we're just gonna mix that up, get it nice and moistened. And then we're going to put it at the bottom of our pan. And I went ahead and lined this with a parchment paper and I've left the sides just a little bit taller. That way, whenever this cheesecake is done, we can just lift it out and cut it to perfect squares. So we're gonna go ahead and push that back down in there, put our crust at the bottom, and you can use a spoon, a fork, your fingers, whichever you want. And we're just gonna push that down onto the bottom. All right, get that all nice and squished in. All right, so it's all squished down at the bottom. And then we're gonna sit this to the side and we're going to make the inside of this one. So for this, you'll need about four ounces of a light cream cheese. I'm using a third less fat. You can do it fat free as well if you wanna cut it a little bit more. By leaving a little bit of that fat in there, it makes it a little more creamy, but still helps to cut some of the calories and fat from the recipe. So to this, we're going to add a third of a cup of a plain Greek yogurt. So it's gonna add a little bit of protein, some creaminess to it, but no extra calories or fat, I'm sorry, no extra fat from this, a few calories in it. So we're just gonna put a third of a cup in there. Then we're gonna use one egg white. So we've taken out the yolk, which has a little bit more fat in it and some cholesterol. So we're gonna put that in there. We're also gonna include two tablespoons of sugar, or if you have a sugar substitute, we're gonna use a stevia today. Some of the Sweeteners like stevia, you can use cup for cup. If you have the little packets of them, you'll need to adjust the amount. You don't, definitely don't wanna use two tablespoons of the concentrated versions. It'd be really, really sweet for you. Then we're also gonna add one tablespoon of a whole wheat flour. It'll help to thicken it and hold it together a little bit more. Then we are going to add one teaspoon of a vanilla extract. All right, and then after the vanilla, we're gonna add about half of a tablespoon of lemon juice. And that lemon juice is gonna give it a little tartness and a little brightness to the recipe. All right. And this is one you don't have to be exact on the lemon juice. If you like it a little more tart, add a little bit more to it, um, a little less. Don't put quite as much in there. And then we're gonna take just a handheld mixer and we're gonna mix this up so it gets nice and smooth. So you can see it's all smoothed out, no bumps or anything in there. And then we're gonna fold in about a fourth of a cup of our mini chocolate chips. Just sprinkle a few in there. And by folding, we're just gonna take in a spatula and just kind of stir it around lightly. Get everything off the edges. And then we're gonna put this back on top of our pie or our crust, cheesecake crust, and just pour it in there. And kind of try to get it all over your crust. That way, whenever you smooth it out, it doesn't pick up your crust too bad. And then this is a baked cheesecake. So we're gonna to have to put it in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. 
And then we'll bring it out, let it cool for just a little bit on our counter until your pan is cooled off. And then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it finish cooling for a couple of hours. That really gets it nice and solid so when you pull it out, it doesn't fall apart on you. Get all the paper out of the way you can see it. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna bake for about 25 minutes and then we'll be ready to try it. All right, so in total, this is gonna bake for 25 minutes, but after 20 minutes, you're gonna to need to bring it out. You can see it's starting to get done, but we don't want it too brown. So to prevent the top from burning, we're gonna take just a little bit of aluminum foil, and we're just gonna lightly put it over top. And be careful when you do this, because the pan will still be hot, and you don't wanna burn yourself. And it doesn't have to be on there real tight. We just really wanna keep the, the main heat from getting on top. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in for the last five minutes, um, and then we'll bring it out and let it cool, and then we'll put it in the refrigerator.